Many thanks to Fatal Attraction within the servers, Atlas, One Original DZ servers, Clash within the servers, Sergeant Pepper's DZ Invasion server, The Struggle Best within the community, Sea of Tools Cloud, Neo Farmer servers, and the comeback for making this video possible. So DZ devs have just released a whole bunch of new info about the new winter map in their latest blog post. So in this video we're going to go over the upcoming new disease caused by eating yellow snow, examine a couple of new medical items, and take the first look at the new and improved heat comfort system. Heavy metal poisoning will be coming to Daisy Frostline when it's released, which is contracted by eating snow on Sakao. This disease is coming from the volcanic ash or the chemicals from the volcano mixing with the snow, and that's what gives you the disease, but can also be contracted from the water of Sakao too. So I don't believe this is going to be on any other map apart from Sakao, so from the water and from the snow. Whether or not all water gets contaminated is unknown, but it's likely that only the hot springs will have this new disease when it comes to water. What we know for sure though is that eating snow with your hands will give you this disease very quickly as shown here but when you scoop the snow into the filtering bottle which is a new item you can consume the snow safely straight afterwards. This filtering bottle can also be used on water sources to avoid the disease too but it wasn't mentioned if it reduces or stops cholera. I believe it will as then this makes this item useful on Chernerus and Livonia too as it will stop cholera but also because it says here in the description that removes almost any waterborne disease. This means that it might not work on every waterborne disease but almost any waterborne disease but also because the new chelated tablets can also be used to purify water. I believe what they're trying to do with these two new items is make them useful on all of the maps, not just Sakao. So this means that it probably will be useful on Chernerus and Livonia in some way. You can combine these new chelated tablets with a water bottle to purify the water, much like water purifying tablets already do, removing cholera from drinking containers, so it is going to be useful in general, and also removing heavy metal poisoning from water from the hot springs of Sakao, if that's where we get heavy metal poisoning. I'm just speculating here mostly. Whether or not the water purification tablets already in the game that we've had in the game for a long time will remove heavy metal disease is something that we'll probably need to test as it wasn't mentioned in this post. It also wasn't confirmed if your immunity level reduces the chances of getting the heavy metal disease or heavy metal poisoning but what we do know is that this new medicine won't make you immune to this disease so these chelated tablets they won't give you a certain amount of immunity to getting heavy metal disease. It will simply reduce or cure the symptoms of it. The symptoms we were shown is an off-centered overlay from time to time. As you can see here, there's like a blurry kind of overlay that's giving you off-centered vision. I don't know exactly what this effect or symptom is called. Maybe a doctor can tell us. But to put it simply, it will just screw with your vision. They did mention there's other symptoms too, but these will likely be energy and hydration loss, possibly with a sprinkle of projectile vomiting too, with this disease coming with several different stages with increased effects, much like other diseases in Daisy. The new heat comfort rework will change heat comfort as we know it across all maps. So this is the heat comfort system, not just for Sakao. On Sakao in particular though, the snow will reduce your heat comfort like rain does, likely meaning that snow makes our gear wet. That wasn't confirmed, it could just simply mean that snowfall reduces the air temperature around you. It was confirmed though that hot food will warm us up and cold food will make us colder, coming in two stages this cold effect. But these are all the stages here with extremely hot food and maybe boiling water damaging our characters. So this could spill over onto other maps, this boiling water, no pun intended there. So Chernerus and Livonia, with boiled water you might take damage, we'll just have to see when 1.26 is released or when Sakao's released, they're released at the same time and frozen food being impossible to eat until you warm up much like the mouse so a lot of the systems from the mouse are coming over onto this new map which is fantastic other than that the usual suspects of air temperature altitude and clothing wetness will mostly impact our temperature still but we do get a new and improved heat buffer stat ui Instead of it showing just the plus icon which appears randomly after a certain amount of time, we now get three plus icons that act as an actively depleting stat. So imagine this like a vertical stat bar. At full heat buffer stat, you will have three plus icons and then the one at the top will start to fade down until it disappears and then they will fade down one at a time. You'll be able to get a really good understanding of how long you have left on your heat buffer stat. And I believe this heat buffer stat will be incredibly important as a cow. If you're cold for too long, you will lose health and this health loss will kill you. I believe this is going to kill a lot of people in Sakao. You need to maintain your temperature in order to make sure that you do not lose too much health over a long period of time. 
While I was away, just in case you missed it, in the week 26 dev blog post they showcased new buildings and explained how building interiors will be fairly unique across the map with where furniture is positioned, but also this is going to include new furniture and the colour of buildings will have some variety too as we already saw in previous trailers. Hopefully this will make each village and town feel unique. This was a concern to many in the community. They were saying how these old assets are being used on a new map and they wanted something new. This should spice things up. In the next dev blog post I missed, which is week 28, the hare is making a return, which I'm assuming will be like a faster version of a chicken. Foxes are coming back too, with a lot of cool animations and the dreaded fox scream that I'm sure will make Daisy a horror game. This will scare a lot of people that don't know how foxes sound. The reason I was away for a month is due to my mum passing away, if you didn't hear the news, and my brother needing help in clearing a government owned house, so we had a certain amount of time to clear the house, and obviously doing all the paperwork, funeral arrangements, etc. I want you guys to know that she passed very peacefully, surrounded by family. She died of a type of lung cancer that steadily grew over the last year. So luckily we had plenty of time to say goodbye. Some people are not so fortunate. So I'm thankful for that. Thank you for your patience while all of this took place. My videos will continue as normal now. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.